Your vote 2022, one of the races to watch here in the Valley is certainly the 41st Congressional District. The newly created district includes a number of West and Mid Valley cities and is being targeted by both parties, making it a multi-million dollar race. Tonight we're going in-depth on the fundraising and the campaign ads you're going to be seeing a lot of in the final weeks of this campaign. I think we're going to flip the seat. I won every time, so I don't think it'll be any different this time. Both candidates are confident going into the final stretch, and both are well-funded. Incumbent Republican Ken Calvert has raised more money than he ever has in 30 years, $2.3 million. The challenger, Democrat Will Rollins, has brought in nearly $1.5 million. Brendan Glavin is a senior data analyst for Open Secrets, which tracks campaign financing. Based on these numbers, I've put Rollins' uh, fundraising well within that uh, range of um, you know viability. The new 41st district is very evenly divided, with a large chunk of the valley, Palm Springs through La Quinta, now connected with the more conservative western half of Riverside County. The end result, as of August 22nd, Democrats now have an advantage of over 1,600 registered voters in the district. The last time Calvert won in 2020 in the 42nd district, he had an advantage of nearly 30,000 registered voters. He doesn't think it'll hurt him. Well, you have independent voters, which uh, in this district are relatively conservative. And, John, I've represented 80 percent of this district, uh, so uh, I know it quite well. Rollins thinks the math will give him the edge. Since January, Republicans have lost about 1,000 voters in this congressional district. Since January, Democrats have picked up 2,000. Rollins thinks that surge is largely because of the Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade and is pressing the issue heavily. We played the campaign ads in the race for both candidates. Ken Calvert is using his power to undermine our democracy and take away women's rights. Calvert is pro-life, but thinks the issue should be decided by the states. California, abortion is going to be legal, let's face it. Uh, I think most, in, at the end of the day, most states will probably choose to go that path. This race is an example of what's happening around the country. Democrats are staying focused on social issues like abortion, while Republicans say it's all about the economy. I'm Ken Calvert. Every time we get gas or check out at the grocery store, we feel the pain of Biden inflation. I think if he really wanted to do something about inflation, he would have voted against uh, oil companies price gouging consumers. And he had the opportunity to do that. He's a sitting member of Congress. New ads are now emerging in the race from outside organizations going after Calvert. This one is from Equality California Votes. Corrupt Calvert secured tax dollars to fund projects around his real estate development, then sold it. By the way, the money that uh, that I was able to obtain uh, for that interchange was uh, 20 miles from property I own. Another ad from Progress Action Fund goes after Calvert. On November 8th, say no to hate. Say no to Ken Calvert. Not your campaign's ad, but would you stand by that? Yeah, it's accurate. I mean, and I think people should look at his record. His record is, you know, going all the way back to when he was first elected, um, outing his political opponent as a political strategy. I mean, he thought that that was something that would help him win the election. The Cook Political Report ranks the district as lean Republican. Politico still has it as likely Republican. Both men say they're going into the final weeks confident they will prevail. Uh, it's going to be a good year to be a Republican. We just need to run on the strength of our ideas, and we will pull out a victory in November. Now, Rollins has challenged Calvert to a debate. Calvert says he has no interest at this point. We'll learn more about their fundraising next month when we get their quarterly reports. And coming up next Wednesday night on News Channel 3, our Jake and Gracia will be taking another look at this race, sitting down with both the candidates again, going more in-depth on exactly where they stand on a number of issues.